if you guys were paying attention to my last video this was the storm cell that i was in earlier and there's a lot of dust out here so i'm gonna make my way towards 29 palms and from there i'm probably gonna go to amboy but first i have to drive through this storm cell and i'm trying to drive through before the road get washed out so if this road gets washed out then i'm screwed there's howling winds and there's a lot of dust in this area you could see how much dust is being picked up because of these storms and my main goal is to be away from this dust so i could get pictures and my allergies too so we're gonna hit record once this dust storm settles down and i'm gonna try to get pictures there's so much dust in this area wow look at all this dust that's being picked up because of these storms wow and my main goal is to get out of this so hopefully i can so i could get pictures but wow look at the amount of dust that's being picked up and this could easily form a dust storm heading into indio i could barely see a thing and zero visibility literally zero yep could barely see a thing and i'm trying to push through but there's just so much dust so going at about 45 miles an hour i slow it down i'm keeping my eye peeled and there we go a little open gap and we're good all right one thing i will say i'm surprised that the national weather service has not issued a blowing dust advisory or even a dust storm warning for this because a lot of dust is being picked up around this area so just documenting how much dust is out here and now we're good all right now we're good from the dust i'm gonna try to find a place to post up because yep the game changed but it has rained here already so flash flooding is going to be an issue so i'm hoping it's not but if it does become an issue gonna turn around the sky changed and the storm cell is right here right over the hill torrential rainfall for sure that's a for sure right there worst case scenario just played out we're not getting anywhere so we're not going to 29 palms through 177 through the 62 this whole place is becoming a river you can see how the water is flowing down the hill look at that over there that's all water that is rushing down and all it takes is 15 to 30 minutes and you get this going like that's it this storm is dumping a lot of water in a very short amount of time and more flood water is building up ahead of the highway and damn that thing is flowing that thing's flowing <laughs> that thing's flowing yeah 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 if you're on highway do it i'm pretty sure my car could do it but there's another one that is three times worse than this down the highway from right here a lot of course that's going for it this guy i want to see this guy go for it yeah he was able to do it i'm pretty sure my car could do it but there's a lot more just heading up this highway that's the only issue and this only gonna get worse this car just passed feeling a lot more confident about doing this on that flood boat right now they're saying let's go we're doing it that other one down there is gotten a little bigger too so i crossed one but there's like 20 more down this highway how are these guys going for it others down this highway and one of them is three times worse than this one but so far guys good luck with the one that's three times worse they might shut down this highway any second and this guy's going for it too yeah. I, feel like, I feel like my car could cross it my car could cross it for sure but this small guy crossing it my car could easily cross it Got right here is someone that I want to watch. One car's getting through. Then we have another storm cell that's developing behind. 
behind me, so we're on flash flood mode right now. Got a couple. Cars are getting through, but this flash flood is one out of like 30. There's like 20 more down the highway from right here. And there's one that is three times worse than this one. So just a heads up, there's a lot of cars that are getting stuck down the highway. Great. Yep, sorry man. And just giving the word out there to these people that there's a bigger flash flood down this highway. There's cars that are getting stuck at this moment. So they're gonna shut down this highway very soon. Another storm cell's developing on top of me. So that means I gotta make my move out of here because this is about to get bad. Flash flooding gonna be a big issue down here. But small cars are getting through this one. But that's one out of like 20. And there's another flash flood that is much bigger. The faster I get out of this, the better. I had to get back to the 10 freeway because flash flooding is becoming a big problem in this area and because the storm cell is dropping in this area where an earlier storm cell was parked again flash flooding is the biggest issue right here so i got through excuse me i got through the first one which i believe it was this one with not, not that much issues and man i just got showered with all this mud but anyway, so I got through this one without that many issues. And I don't know if it was this one, but I have to get back to Desert Center and get the 10 ASAP. This is the one and whoa, that looks really bad. Yeah, that's debris in the middle of the road and I gotta wait for it. Yeah, I'm gonna post up right here for a little bit because this one got really bad. It was not like this earlier, but once this tree goes, I'm gonna try to cross it yep 177 is getting washed out and it's getting washed out really really fast so the faster i get out of this the better this highway is getting washed out and i feel bad for the people up there let me rephrase that i feel bad for the people up there this highway is getting washed out it was not like this earlier so remember all, all that water that we saw flowing down that hill well this is part of it this is part of it and we're seeing how this is playing out. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the tire pressures too. And hopefully I don't get a flat tire, but that was a really bad one. And here's another one that I'm across right now. So I'm gonna back up real quick. If this SUV is able to do it, then I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna do it. Buckle up. I'm so glad to be out of that because this is getting worse by the minute. Highway 177 is getting washed out and a lot of people are getting trapped further up that highway. Flash flooding is a big problem in this highway right now. And I'm gonna try to get pictures of that storm cell that is to my right. So yeah, the rain stopped. I'm gonna pull over somewhere to get this. We have a pretty good downpour here in Desert Center. It was not like this when I first got here and it's crazy how quick everything could change. I'm so glad to be out of 177 because the highway is getting flooded and there's emergency personnel that are heading up there right now to assist on what is happening up there. Cars are getting stuck in the water. People need to be rescued up there. We saw how this highway is getting washed out and that's nothing compared to what's happening further up ahead from where I was. So right now I'm back on the 10 freeway heading towards Indio where there's more storms that are developing so that will do it for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.